Audio Technica streaming podcast packs are targeted toward the users looking for an affordable, reliable solution for podcasting, streaming, and YouTube content creation. For a user looking for the traditional analog solution, Audio Technica offers two options based on the included microphone. The AT2020 PK includes the popular AT2020 side address studio microphone, microphone clamp, a pair of monitor headphones, and a convenient boom arm with integrated microphone cable. The AT2035 PK replaces the AT2020 microphone with the AT2035 and includes a shock mount. Both packs provide an analog microphone output designed to connect to an audio interface or mixer. First, we will set up the boom arm and attach the microphone. Attach the base clamp included with the boom arm to a flat surface such as a table or desk. The clamp fits a table up to two inches thick and is padded to protect the table surface. Secure the clamp by tightening the screw handle. Attach the boom arm to the clamp and make certain the springs are properly installed. Pre-tighten the screws at the base, middle, and top of the boom arm. Attach the mount included with the microphone to the thread mount at the top of the boom arm. Next, install the microphone into the mount. For the AT2020, attach the microphone to the swivel mount by threading the base of the microphone into the mount. Make certain the front of the microphone is facing you. Tighten the ring nut on the mount securely. For the AT2035, insert the microphone into the shock mount. The mount is designed to secure the microphone in from one direction. The slot ring in the microphone holds the microphone in the mount. Rotate the microphone in the mount until the front of the microphone, the AT logo, is facing you. To use these models, you will need an audio interface or mixer with a USB output that connects to the computer. Alternatively, these microphones can be used with many standalone portable recorders, providing they have the proper XLR type external microphone inputs. One of the benefits of using a mixer or audio interface is that multiple analog microphones may be used for a multi-person talk show podcast or stream. Plug the other end of the XLR type cable into the appropriate input connector on your audio interface, mixer, or recorder. Because the AT2020 and 2035 are condenser microphones, they require a DC voltage for proper operation. Known as phantom power, this voltage is provided by the audio interface, mixer, or recorder the microphone is connected to. On most audio devices, this is a small button labeled P48, or phantom power. Make certain that any monitor loudspeaker or headphone levels are turned down before engaging phantom power or connecting the microphone. Connect the headphones to the headphone jack on your device. For best results, the microphone needs to be oriented properly. When mounting it in the boom arm, you can position the connector up or down depending on your situation. However, like many studio microphones, you speak into the side of the AT2020 or 2035 as opposed to its end. Notice how the sound level changes as I speak into the side versus its end. Unlike some performance or stage microphones, the AT2020 and 2035 condenser microphones are quite sensitive to sound. This means you can be further away from the microphone and still maintain effective sound pickup. However, there is a trade-off. If you are podcasting or streaming in a noisy environment, the microphone is more susceptible to picking up unwanted noise. To remedy this, simply move in closer to the microphone and adjust your input level accordingly. The AT2020 and 2035 are also known as directional microphones, meaning they have a front side and a back side. Normally, the Audio-Technica wordmark or logo identifies the front side. As you move from the front side of the microphone to the back side, the sound level will drop off significantly by design. Allow me to demonstrate using the 2035. This is the front side. 
Now this is 90 degrees off axis. Note the drop off in the sound level. Now this is the back of the microphone. You can use the directionality to your advantage to help control your sound and minimize the pickup of unwanted sound. One technique is to place the microphone slightly off to one side with the front side oriented towards your mouth. If you speak across the front as opposed to directly into the microphone, you can reduce the plosives caused by your breath hitting the microphone directly. If you are typing while streaming, orient the microphone horizontally between you and the keyboard with the back pointed towards the keyboard to minimize pickup of the keyboard sound. In noisy environments, pointing the back side of the microphone at the noise source may help minimize its pickup. If your podcast involves a guest, you can balance the sound between the two voices by simply positioning a single microphone so that the louder voice is slightly off-center from the quieter voice. Alternatively, you can use multiple microphones along with a mixer to provide even more control of the sound. This way, each guest has their own microphone and you can balance the levels. These are just some techniques to help maximize your success with the Audio-Technica streaming podcast packs. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.